later. Okay, again, Mazel Tov to Uncle Lenny. I know, yeah, on his uh, wedding of his grandchild, Tov Hashem, the Shid of Shpil Yafa, the Shpizoka de Boyne, Bias Lemon Biasro. Kayla brought, brought something like that. Yeah, brought, as in the soup. Okay. Says the Mishnah, I test some analysis. Again, we saw the sugya where the we, we, Azari get me to, to a person's giving a get to his wife. We have the chiddush of this parak, which is that you don't have to give it mamish to a hand, but rather in something that's similar to a hand, the shush that is 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 mishuma that is watched by her. So a continuation along that theme. She's standing on top of a roof. Ostensibly, now the roof is hachatzer. The zorku la, and he throws it to her. He throws it to her. Once it reaches the airspace of the gag, In other words, the Chiddush is what? You don't need it to land. You don't need it to land. The Gemara is going to ask, well, if it doesn't land, well, what's the stop? A uh, wind from blowing it away? You know, why is it, why is it considered in your Rishos? But the Chiddush over here is that what? Once you reach the Avra Gag, Arizumi Gureshes. Hu mil maila vihi mil mata. Hu mil maila. Let's say he is Below, he is above. The himel mata, and she is below. The zorku la, and he throws it to her. So in the first case, she was above, and he was below. So he's throwing it up, and it has to get into her airspace. Over here, in this case, he is above, and she's below. The zorku la, and he throws it to her. Kimon shiyatz mishus agag. Once it leaves the mishus agag, and she never receives it, but nimchak. Let's say the rain would come, and it would become erased, or nisraf, or become burnt. Harizumi Guresha, she would be divorced. In other words, the Chid, again, going along with the Chiddush, this is even a bigger Chiddush than uh, the Chatzar, because in the Chatzar, ostensibly, we're speaking where it landed in the Chatzar. Here we're speaking, even the airspace would be considered receiving the get. And she never, but being in the airspace, that, that would be enough. Being The fact that it's in, in the airspace, that would be enough, which is a huge Chiddush. So again, in the airspace of the Chatzar now. Correct. The airspace of the Chatzar, which is right. So, so we have two, two scenarios in the Mishnah. We have the first scenario, she's on a roof. He throws it up upwards. Once it goes into the lot, the avra of the roof of the roof, it's Megureshes. He's ab- above and she's below. Once it reaches the Rishus of the Gag, Nimcha. Now it's very interesting. It says Nimcha or Nisraf in the latter case. Would that be going on the first case as well? So the Ramban says yes. The Ramban says it's more mistab that you have. Uh, a, a scenario of nimchak and nisraf when it's below rather than above. That to have a fire mm-hmm. on the ground is more mistabed to have a fire on the roof and to go ahead and have, a, well, I guess, rain on the roof also. But again, it seems to be more mistabed that way. There are other Rishonim who say, no, dafka, the, the latter case, and not the first case. Okay, Fred and Marikasha. Baha'u'llah Minter. Telling me it reaches the airspace, you tell me it gets, it gets into the airspace, and in that scenario, when it's reaching the airspace that she's Megureshes, why is that considered? Why is that considered a rishus, guys? In order, in order for something to be considered a rishus, if it enters the air space, it has to have the capacity to land in that air space. In other words, I don't need it to land, but I need it to be able to land. So then I could say it's in the air space. It's it's a, as if it landed. Correct. But if it's not watched because the wind can come along, a Ruach Mitsuya can come along and take it away, then it's not considered Roy to land. So, Fredrik Marakasha, why is this considered uh, an Asina? Says Rashi. The airspace of the roof, the Asi Zika, come along a wind, the Shadile Mikame de Lenach, and it'll go ahead and throw it away before it lands. The Chile Shadia Zika, the Irle Davarache. And let's say that you throw it, and the zika doesn't come. It comes along a, a kelev, the kaltoi, a geshamim umachuhu, a maikatani migarashes min avir. Habin and avir to say for lenuach. You need avir airspace. That in the end, what it it could be. So, the chiddush Rashi also clearly says, guys, the chiddush of the Mishnah of nimchak or nisraf, because going in the first case, because he said if a door comes along and takes it away, or the wind, or or. Or, or the the rain goes ahead and, and uh, erases it. So it's going on the first case. So Fred Dingmar, a, a very good question. Mamisha, a yesoidi dika question, a very, you know, very ba- base question. 
we're, we're seeing a chiddush over here that to give a get, you don't have to give it in her hand. You can even give it the chatzar. And even a bigger chiddush, it doesn't have to land in the chatzar. As long as it's in the airspace of the chatzar, she'll be considered divorced. But the, the Gemara is asking, the airspace has to be in a hechatimsa where it would have the capacity to go ahead and be considered as if it landed already. Why is the airspace on a roof where you have winds considered a place where it would land already? You have to, so in other words, and therefore it should not be considered a good get. Because it's the airspace. No. But, but, once you have the airspace, that makes it a Kenyan. It doesn't have to land. What makes the airspace that Kenyan? The ability that it's going to land, watch my hands. So in between my hands, correct? So if you're, if you're in, in over here, it has the capacity because it's protected from the sides. <laughs> so it's going to come down and it's going to land on my thumbs. So therefore we can view it in the airspace if it's landed already. But let's say it's like this. There's no, there's no mechitzas. There's just the roof, a flat roof. You throw it in. Why you might be considered if it's in the airspace over here, over my thumbs? Why would you consider it as if it landed already? After all, you need avir she, she sofa lenuach, avir that in the end it will land. So conceptually, you ha- you need that. Even you know, in other words, I don't need it to land. I have to know that it could land. And here you don't you don't have that. That's the most kasha. So you're just, you're, you're naming on, but I'm, I'm, and there's an addendum, may, may I like what you're saying. The addendum is, when do you say airspace works? That's when it could land there. If it can't land there, it's not airspace. That's, the, that's what the Gemara's kash is. Like the Marvel Minta. Some of you done Shmuel. Bigag maka. Okay, very good. I just gave you the Hechatimsa, guys. Guys, oh. the Gag has a maka. It, has a, it has, a, has a fence around it. Since it has a fence around it, it's considered in the airspace when, when it comes to that area. That's only... If he throws it up and the mic is this high and it's over the top, you have to wait till it comes yes. within the yeah. wall. Yes, right, right. Lechari, again, so when we speak about airspace, it'll be the area of the airspace where it can be considered soiful and noah. Correct. I'm, I'm not sure what I told you is true. I, I don't know. I, I hear what you're saying in Svara. I don't, I don't this, again, this, this sugi is, is certainly beyond, uh, it requires a lot of time. But again, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it goes up here. So if it, once it's over here already, so you want to say that the only place that's safe in Newark is that I can guarantee it is over here, but not necessarily up here. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. All right. Um, another Teretz. We're dealing with three Tfachim to the Gag. Now we know from Erevin, right, we know something called La, from in Sukkah, the plus the concept of Lavud, right? If something is right within three tefachim, it's considered. So see, though, this is why I'm not, not exactly sure. Of course, over here, what? Just what I remember. Yeah. Let's say it. One second. Pirish, he's reading the art scroll. Okay, yes, next. The Ritzma says it has to be in the airspace, like you're saying. Underneath the top of the mic. That's why I remember. Seven and a half years ago, you remember what? Now, it's very interesting you mentioned that because to, to tell you how poor your Rebbe goes ahead and prepares, listen to what I have written on the slide of my Gemara. I am with the Irish, I get the Gia, the Matam in America, but I am like, I look in your Gemara. <laughs> so, I, so I had I had written on the slide of the Gemara. I didn't even, so it's truth. Okay, anyway, it's good. Help, though, the Hebrew. <laughs> oh, Hebrew, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so the Ritva says it's got to be in that spot. Okay, so now he, there's another Kiddush over here, and this this is really, really fascinating because over here, it's not re, it's within three tefachim of the ground. Now, it's not really guarded within three tefachim of the ground because if you have a wind, it's going to take it away anyway. But why do we know the halacha is that's on the ground? So it, it, it's, right? That, that's the halacha. The halacha is it's, it's on the ground because it's, it's love with So. So, 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 the, the other end of the coin. So it's considered on the ground already. Says Rashi, It's as if it's the, down, down already. In other words, if even if the wind takes it away, it landed. It landed already. Right? The the Naichi Bigavo. It's considered Chatzim Mishnameres and anything that, that will have the capacity to land in it. So we have we have a Kasha, guys. What's the Kasha again? Outside, Fredimar, a Kasha, you're throwing a get below to above. 
it goes in the airspace, you're, the, you're divorced. Fred Bimar, I can't be divorced. I, the wind can take it away and it's not considered avir, shasofel, and noach, as the Gemara. It's in the airspace of a machitza on the gag, and therefore it, it's, it is a shasofel, and noach, or it's what within three tfachim, it's considered as, as if it landed already. Those are two to what's into the cash. The, uh, <clears throat> Uh, now, the next case was he's above and she's below. Hula he, He's above and she's below. Again, so we said as soon as it gets into the airspace, she's divorced. It's the same question about Le Minter. Right? Again, guys, you're throwing it off the roof, throwing it to a chutz, so he leaves the roof, not necessarily is it in that airspace, it can go any which way. So, I'm Rav Yehuda, I'm Ashmol, Kigon Shehoyim Mechitza, Isat Achtoniois, Oitfis Alel Yoinois. The mechitza of the chatzar is higher than the mechitza of, of the roof. Higher than the roof. So therefore, if you have, like, say, this would be the roof, and she's throwing it off this way, there's a mechitza this way. So already, it's considered that here it's guarded, right? Because since you have the wall over here, it's not going to go ahead and it's considered avish hasofel in noach. And this teretz is so popular, many people will give it. Kenny, why are you going like this? Anyway. The Omar who's of the opinion, Okay, it's outside. Outside, didn't hilch the Shabbos. I'm in a rishus hayochid over here. I'm in a rishus hayochid over here, and I'm throwing something through rishus harabim. So I'm taking a football, and I'm throwing it. It's leaving rishus hayochid, going through rishus harabim, and entering rishus hayochid. Says Rebbe Yichayiv two chatas. Yichayiv Yichayiv for itzah twice. Hitzah means where you go from one Rishus to another. So you're going from Rishus Ayoche to Rishus Arabin. So as soon as I threw the football out of here, I was Chayiv. As soon as it entered over here, I was Chayiv. Now, but to be Chayiv for Hitzah, for transport, you need two things. You need an Akira, an uprooting, and a Hanacha, and putting down. Over here, when I threw it, the football from over here, I had my Akira. I picked up the football, and I threw it. The football zooms through Rishus Arabin and goes in over here. What don't you have? You don't have Hanacha. You don't have putting it down. Says Rebbe, you do. Because Kluta, when you're in the airspace, it's Kemi Shehuncha. It's as if it's on the ground. Kluta, Kemi Shehuncha. Kluta, Kemi Shehuncha. So obviously this must be according to Rebbe. So just like over here, it's considered on the ground. So too, when you take the get, throw it off the roof in the airspace, we're going to use the din of Kluta. Good? We use the din of kluta. Amale Rabba Lula, Kiman Kurebi Dama Kluta Bishon Khadami. Amale said Ulu to Rababa, I feel Tamar Rabbanan. You can even say Rabbanan who say you don't say Kluta and you'll be part of a Hilcha Shabbos. Ad can lay pligi Rabbana Lad the Rebbe Elin Yin Shabbos. Abal Hokha Mishum in Turehu, the Hokha Minter. And it's, it's considered what? It's considered watch. Guys, by Shabbos, what's the Hakpada by Shabbos? There are very, very specific guidelines as to how to be over any one of the 39 of us malachis. Very, very specific. Good. So to be over Chil Shabbos by Hitzah, I need two things. Akira, which I have, but I don't view going through an airspace if it's on the ground. Physically, it's not on the ground. I can't view it as like, I'll view it as on the ground. It's not on the ground. I'm talking about the Chachamim. So I won't view it. So I do not have a Hanacha. And therefore, now, by get, what do I need? Do I need an Akira by Nacha? I don't need a Akira by Nacha by get. I need that the get should be in a place where it's considered Mishta Meres and it's considered in her Rishos. So if you throw it off a roof and I have a wall, I have a wall over here that is tall enough and it's over here at this point in time. So good, it didn't land yet, but who cares? As long as it will land and it's being watched, it's considered a Maimah already. So the whole protocol of get is very different in Hilcha Shabbos. So the, the Chachamim who 
do not hold of Kluta by Shabbos, says over here, it's not, it, it's no difference. Says over here, it makes sense. It's a Gavaldic Teretz. It's a Gavaldic Teretz. Now, really, you could have given a very good Teretz. What? This is what I was thinking. Kluta is where you're going from one Rishus through another Rishus to another Rishus. Over here, you're not doing that. You're landing. Over here, when you threw it, when you threw it off the roof, it's landing. It's not, it's not going to, through. It's landing. It's landing. Marsha says that we could have given that teretz, that the Chachamim would agree over here, this is not even the Kluta. It's not similar to Kluta, because it's not, it's not going piercing through the Rishus. It's stopping in the Rishus. It's, it's, it's not going from one Rishus through another to another. It's going from one Rishus to another. It's landing in that Rishus. So therefore, that's an easy chilik between the two. Why didn't you give that teretz? It says the Marsha, because there's a better teretz. There's, a, there's an intrinsic difference between Shabbos and what? And, and, and Gittin. And you wanted to tell me that difference. You wouldn't have heard that difference if you would have given that teretz. You wouldn't have heard that difference. You would just, let's say this is not a case of Kluta. But we're saying that even if it would be a case of Kluta, it's, it's, it's a significant difference. In other words, what would it didn't be if you took a get, you threw the get, threw, you know, like a football, threw the Rishus Arabim and ended in the other Rishus Ayachid? What would it didn't be? Don't we need Steve Geller for this tomorrow? <laughs> Why? He could throw the ball. Ask yeah. Benji. <laughs> you don't have to ask me. I, I have this is a proof of Steve Geller, right? Lenny, Steve Geller could throw the ball like 80, 90 yards in the year. He threw the ball, I caught it on my hands, right? Because I thought I had good hands, and I did. Look what happened. Okay. Anyway, now for all the time people know why my fingers are corroded. Anyway, <laughs> says, <laughs> But why? Oh, no, that's, that's, that's this hand. That's this hand. That's this. That's, that's this hand. That's this hand. Says the Gemara. So Fred and for the Gemara, very good, uh, good terrors. I feel the Rabbana, who by clue to say that what it's it, you're part of by Shabbos. I can like pligi Rabbana led the Rebbe Elulin in Shabbos because you need an an Ahanacha and you don't have Ahanacha. I will hachem Mishim and Turihu. Over here, you need to get to be in a jurisdiction that's watched. The hachem inter and it's watched. Again, we like this teretz. The outer walls are all over the gag, so it's always considered watched. Here, the Shiloh Wad is in Ture, and therefore what? It's considered watched. It's considered watched. Okay, Nimchak, we said he threw it from top going down and it got erased by the water or Nisraf. And we said it's a good get. Um, Rav Nachman, um, Rabbi, no, it's, it's, she's divorced as soon as it comes into the airspace, even though it's tremendous kiddish, she never received the get. It's, she's divorced. It had to be machik on the way down. Aval Nimchak derech aliyah. But if on the way up, when he threw it, guys, he threw it up, up, before it began to ascend. He threw it up before it began to ascend. Loi. My timer. Meikara loi lemanche koi. Right? So says, we need a Hezbo over here. Guys, watch. Look what's happening. He takes the get. He's throwing it off the roof. He throws it up in the air. And right over here, it gets erased. She's not divorced. If it's on the descent, it gets erased. She's divorced. On the ascent, it's not not divorced. Why? Why does the Gemara say? Says the Gemara, because meikara loy koi. When he threw it, it wasn't for the purpose of landing. So, guys, you all look at me like strange. You're going to understand this perfectly. Let's see Rashi, and I'll, I'll explain to you with an Avnei Miluyim that it's I. Not I have... It's not goaltending. Oh, well, <laughs> right, right, exactly. That's it. That's it. That's exactly right. It's you stuff it on the way down. Okay, you can understand it. It's a little more lumbus. It's a very good swoosh down. Now let's see Rashi and an Avni Milum that I do have written on the side of my Gora that I did look ahead. It says, says, says look, Rashi says Enum Gureshes. Again, what's the case? He's on top of a roof. It gets it gets erased on the way down. And she the Mishnah says she's divorced, qualifies the Gemara only if it's erased on the descension. But if it gets erased on the ascension, then not. What's the reason? Because it, on the ascension, it wasn't lemanchikoi. It wasn't for the purpose of going down. 
says Rashi, Ein Mugureshes, the derech silukoi, the derech of going up, lay mikri nesina. That's not considered nesina. El derech hanachasoi, lovoi lavishusoi. Oh, what's considered nesina? The derech that it comes what into a rishus. So what's the what's the chilek, guys? I understand. When he threw it, right? Did he throw it for the purpose of it landing in the rishus? Of course he did, correct? Of course he did. So this is this is Avnei Miluyim Simon Kuflam Etes of Cotton Vav. Guys, listen to the beautiful pshat. We saw yesterday if he throws the get and he's holding on to the string and it can come to him, you're not divorced because you need a safer krisus and you don't have the krisus yet because they're not, not because he, she's still attached to him. Good. Says the Avnei Miluyim suggests the following: when he throws it up, when the ball the ball is is going up, the get is going up. Why is it going up? Because of his koyach. His koyach is in the ball. In other words, the more pressure you put in the ball, the more strength you put in the ball, the higher it'll go because it's going against gravity. It's your, it's your koyach, good? So if it gets erased at that point in time, since the get is ascending with his koyach, what's it considered? She's still connected to him. Masha'en came, once it begins its descent with the koyach of gravity, his kayak is totally gone. And now, therefore, it's considered hers. And the mela, therefore, nimchak would be what? It's a much beautiful lambda shateretz, guys, right? One more time. Beautiful lambda shateretz, guys. Rashi, it, this, this is the Moom explaining Rashi. When it's on the way up, it's not considered in the Sina. Why is it not considered in the Sina? Because the whole way up, the kayak in the kli, in the get, in this case, is him. He's the one who put the force in. And so if it gets erased at that point in time, his, it's, she's still connected to him because it never left him, because it's, it's his force. On the other hand, when it begins to descend, some tremendous lambdas, he's gone. So as long as it's in her airspace and it gets, divo- it gets erased beforehand, she's considered divorced. That's the Hesber of, that's the Hesber. He's never given a Nesina, though. He's never really given you a Nesina. Oh, no, the Nesina is when, when no, the, he's in a Nesina, but no, no, no. Right. Let's say he gave it a get, but it, it's still it's still attached. Right. So okay. there's a Nesina with a, with a string attached. Right. Same thing over here, Baruch. When he throw, he's throwing. So good then. Uh, right. It's no good at that point. But once, in other words, it's always in a Nesina. But view it until until it gets to the point of dissension, it's a string is still attached. So it's in the scene with a string attached. But the came once it begins to descend, the streak is gone, and therefore it's divorced. It's when you give the get, I give the get to the woman's hands. It's in the scene, but right. it's with a string attached because he can pull it back over here. He can't pull it back, but the koyach is is there, so it's not considered at that point in time as if he totally what gave it. It's, it's in the act of giving, but not you know it's still attached. That's that's the way the the Avni Milun would explain this Rashi. Beautiful, beautiful lambdas. Right, this is a great parak. Nisraf. What happens if it burns on the way down? So, right? What if it burns on the way down? Um, Rav Nachman, Amar Rabba Ravua, Loi Shanu. That if it burns on the way down, she's divorced. Ela Shekodim Get Lideleka, where you went ahead and you threw it, and there was no fire there. And then the fire came and consumed it. If the deleka was before the get, loy, then you would not be divorced. My timer may curl a straight for causal. Similar to what it's a uh, uh, the case where he threw it and it wasn't going to land because the wind could possibly take it. It was avish the from nuach over here. You have the same the same problem with the deleka. It's not avish the right? It's, it's not going to go ahead right and be and. So, in other words, just as we had, the, we needed the terrace, speaking in the case where the, the, you needed the airspace, that it was an avir in the end it would land. If the fire was there beforehand, it's not considered it's going to land, and therefore she would not be divorced. Says the Gemara. Amr of Chista, Rishuyas Chalukais Begitten. There are different Rishuyas Begitten. Rashi explains if the husband lends her an area to receive the get, in let's say the chutzer, he didn't lend her her house. He didn't lend her the corral. He didn't lend any. He lent her the chutzer. Because as we saw the other day, it's the derech to lend one area, not more than one area. So, so shuyes chalukah is different jurisdictions le'inyan get, get. Meaning, if I'm not makbid to give you a place to receive the get in my house, it doesn't mean I'm not makbid in my field or my gag. I'm, I want the get in the house. 
or I want it on the gag. But that's the place I gave it in no other place. One place, not two, not three. That's it. I'm going to remember how to know that Saba, that was his father-in-law, by the way. Rav Kisla was his father-in-law. How does he know this? I'm going to remember it's a Mishnah. I say, I say, Okay, so this is case number one. Number, this is case number one. Guys, we have two cases. Let's go outside the two cases. First case, she's on the roof, he's throwing up. Second case, she's below, he's throwing. We didn't ask the question, who is she standing in? Hers. So what would you say? Let's go through the cases then. So if she's on the roof, that means that's her chatzar, mm-hmm. and it must be that what? Where is he? Right? He's below, right? So he's throwing what from his, he's throwing what? From her to her? To her? Mm-hmm. So he's throwing from his to her. He's throwing from his to her. Right. Okay, and, and he's throwing it, okay, but he's in the chutzah below and he's throwing it above. He's ostensibly that the fact that he's throwing on the roof and not the chutzah, because of course the chutzah is his. Mm-hmm. Why would he be throwing on the roof? He's in the chutzah. Give it in the chutzah, right? So it must be the chutzah. It must be the chutzah will not facilitate a divorce. Why are you throwing it on the roof? Because I have to get it to our jurisdiction. So it must be standing what? In his jurisdiction. Why does he have to be standing there then? We spoke about Yad. And also the Yadah, it has to be. Okay, now, let's conversely, conversely, let's say she's below and he's above. It must be that what? That he's in his. So, you know, so you're going to say the Mishnah is speaking in two different scenarios, two different places. Usually you want the Mishnah to be speaking in the same in the same, the same, um, you know, uh, scenario. So it must be that what, what's speaking about it's his rishos. In both cases, it's his rishos, and he gave her one area. In the reisha, he lent her the roof. In the sefer, he lent her the chutzar. So that Rav Kista wants to bring a raya from a mishnah to his yisoid that by 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 get leinian rishuyos the mechalik each one from the other. That's what he wants to say. The gemara is going to say yeah, you, you're not <laughs> you have no raya. Says the Gemara. So th- this is here's his raya. Two cases. It's both hers. Why do you Avragag? Put it in the chutzur. Ella must be speaking. It must be speaking that they both belong to him. So therefore, my hava. So once it reaches the airspace of the gag, why is she divorced if it's his, right? Ella must be speaking Bshita, Bigag di Da, the Chatsa di Day. It must be speaking it's her roof space and it's his Chatsa. Ama Seifa, Hula Maila, he's above, he Lamata, she's below, Vizorik Law, Kimus Shiatsa Mishus Agag, Nimcha Kanisa, Harizum Gureshes, the E Bigag di Da, the Chatsa di Day, a mind be Gureshes. If it's speaking about her roof and his Chatsa, when it enters the airspace, it's entering the airspace of his Chatsa. So why would she be divorced? Ella must be speaking, Bigagdi Dei Vechatsidi Dei. So it must be speaking that what? They're both, Bigagdi Dei Vechatsidi Da. It must be speaking that it's his roof and her chatzer. Fred Gemara, Reisha Bigagdi Da Vechatsidi Dei. Sefer Bigagdi Dei Vechatsidi Da. Conflicting opinions. El Alav must be what, guys? It's always his. Always his. And the Ushla Mokim, the Chad Mokim, he's going ahead and lending her a place. So in the ratio, he lent to the roof. In the safe, he lent to the chutzah. Now, how do you have a riot that he didn't lend to two places? Corral, why do you have to throw it on the roof? Give, put it in the chutzah, correct? Oh, I'm a late. So he told him, me the area. In other words, I'm not. It could be speaking like the, the, in the first case, the roof is hers and the chutzah is his. In the second case, the, the roof is his and the chutzah is hers. In other words, you have no riot. Reisha beget di da v'chatsa di day sefer beget di day v'chatsa di da. So you know you don't have so Rav Chista doesn't have a raya from the mission. So more halachas to gitten. Amar Rav shloisha midas begin three midas by gitten meaning compared to three midas by gitten is different than Shabbos. Three midas by gitten is different than Shabbos. Hod Amar Rav kluta kmiyshu huncha that the Rav said kluta kmiyshu huncha upligi rabban Allah hani milin in Shabbos avul hachem shem ituri hu v'loy haminta. First case, guys, right? You're throwing, you're throwing uh, the get, right? You're throwing the get off a roof. You're throwing the get off a roof. Uh, even the, like the Rabban who hold Kluta, don't hold of Kluta. Here you'd say Kluta, why? You'd say Kluta, why? Because here we have, uh, we, it's watched. The get is watched. In other words, the whole the whole svar of Kluta by Shabbos is different by get. 
by Shabbos, I have to shafa a, a hanacha. I have to create a hanacha. Kluta cannot create a hanacha. If I get, all I have to do is, is, is that it should be minter watched. It should be pachach mishtameris. If it's in the airspace, it's considered watched. Therefore, that's one chilek between what? Three midas, the first mida of get. Different than Shabbos is linyan kluta. Right? V'hadam rav chista, noyetz gona b'shus hayachid. If you take a, a reed, you stick it in b'shus hayachid, and on top of the reed, you have what? You have a you have a, a basket. Now, it, this we said Rosh Hashanah ascends all the way up. So if you would be below and you take something, you're in Rosh Hashanah and throw it into the, the basket, right? What's the din? So you have a nuts, get, get Rosh Hashanah, the Rosh Hashanah, and the Rosh you have a basket. The Zorik Venachal Gabav, you throw from Rosh Hashanah into the basket. I feel like I'm a Amachai, Vichai for Hitzah. So Rishus Hayachid constantly goes up; it doesn't end, and therefore you Rishus Harabim you throw it up. Hani middle in Shabbos. That's only the in Shabbos. Avol Hacha Mishumi Turahu. Here, here it, 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 we need a minter. Vaholei minter. It's not watched. Holei minter. It's not watched. Right. What? So so it's not watched on, on here. There's a good kashi. There's a magishmaka kashi. Gishmaka kashi. Here's the kasha. You see, by the case, we, one of the, we began the sugya that if a guy throws a get from the below till above in the gag, if it's within three tfachim of the ground, it's considered what? It's considered, uh, considered, it's on the ground, right? So what's the difference over there than when you throw it up and it lands in the basket? So, it's like it's there and she's divorced. So what do you see? Anything that's mamish, on the ground, even if the ruach is able to go ahead and take it, by by we said, but lavod we said it's it's not a, a it's not a practical halacha. It could be in fact that what that the wind could take it away, but we'll view it what as if it's now. So what's the difference then over here? But even though you can't watch it, it goes up there, right? My time should, when you put the the noyitz and it, why she the get. Is in Rishus and not the Avir. In other words, here's the chile. We said by when it's coming from here to here, if it comes within three, it's considered over here. So we see that pod that doesn't have to be watched. So what's the difference where I go over here, I throw it over here, it lands over here. Mamish is landing. So why isn't it a good get? I don't understand it. In the first case, it is a good get here. It's not a good get. Why? I, I can't hear you. Avi, I can't hear you. We had that yesterday. With it's like a platform. It's like two rishuyos. He only gives her one. No, no, but this, no, no. This is this has nothing to do with this. Is the second din. This is uh, he. He's, he's, he's giving her. Let's say he's giving her the platform. That's your rishus. He's throwing it up from there to there. By by gag, we say it's a get. Over here, we say it's not a get. And you can't tell me that what it's because it's not watched, like the Gemara says. Because we see by three tefachim, also it wasn't watched. In other words, it's a guy's a lumb shikasha. By the case where again, view it beautifully. You're throwing from the chutzer to the gag. I'm throwing from the ground to the basket. Pure, perfect, right? Exact sushtal, yes. By as soon as it gets within three tefachim of the gag, she's divorced. Even even when it lands in the basket, she ain't. What's the difference? What, what's the difference? So, so here is a is a, a teretz, the teretz of the marsha. Less than three samach legag is considered right. Nechshav kimishtamer. It's considered watch, right? Even if she wasn't there, if there was somebody there, it would be considered watch. In other words, on a roof, if somebody's there, could you watch it? Yeah. When it's in the basket on a thin reed, can somebody be there to watch it? That's the difference. That's the difference. It's not, it's not mishtama. In other words, by the roof, even though we have a locha, the fact that if, since somebody, if somebody was there, it would be considered watched. So therefore, she's divorced. Masha Enkin says the Masha, by the basket, even if someone's there, would not be, no one could be there to watch it. No one could be in this basket physically. No one could be there. On the roof physically, could be there to watch it. There he physically can't be there to watch it. That's the territory of the Masha. The Masha, Rosh Luria, gives another territory. 
says, Shagam Shaget Munach Mamish Bishusai, right? You have to be able to watch it from the wind. And therefore, watch is not divorced. But less than less than the gag, right? Even though it's not the divo- not watching is divorced. Why? <laughs> How do you view love it, guys? Love it is even though it's not, even though it didn't land yet, we'll view it as landed. So the same rule that says we'll view it as landed, we'll, we'll view it as watched. Yeah. By the by, yeah. in other words, yeah. it's 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 a hypothetical, it's not a hypothetical, it's a it's 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 a it's a locker. It's a lock. In other words, by the by we throwing it from the ground into the basket. There's no din of lovewood, right? It's 10 fucking high. It's it, it's it's not to be being watched. It says that it's it's not watched. Now, true, by the roof, it's also not watched. But the Allah, since the Allah love it says it's considered it landed, so too it creates the Allah that it's watched. So you have two turrets to go ahead and make the chilik. The chilik of the marsha that by the roof it could be watched, by the basket it couldn't be watched. And the, and the terrace of the marshal to answer the kasha again the kasha is what's the difference between throwing it from the ground into a basket in the, which is not divorced throwing it from the ground into a to the roof it is divorced the marshal says because on the roof you could watch it and the and, and the basket you can't and the marshal says that on, on, even on the roof on on the roof even though really the roof it's not watched but on the roof it also didn't land so the same Allah that says that it didn't land it's considered landed, states also that it's watched. Masha'en came, we don't say that by the God. That would be two ways to answer Bishma Kach. Okay. It, 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 it's also Kahalton because love it means it's solid. If it's something is solid, the wind can't move it. But it's not solid. No, but, but, but the lum just says it's a, it's a, it's solid. Yeah, the lum just says it's like the wall is the wall. The wall is closed. Right? The same thing over. The lum just says it landed. So the same lambda that said land and said it's watched. It's a great, it's a gavaldic terrace. It's a really, really nice. You know what? It's a, they're very concrete qu- questions. I like the questions that are comparable that you can you can hear. And you know, in giving shit, it's very important not to not to not to say everything you see. It's what not to say. You know, and, and that's really the chiddush to giving good share, I believe. Okay. Anyway, Vaita. So so we have two chilukim between what the midas of Shabbos to the midas what of of get. The first one that even by Shabbos to Chacham don't say Kluta would say by Get. Secondly, the Halacha that we say that if it lands on the roof, it's considered the the, the right. Chista uh, but said if you take a basket and you throw it and you chayef for Shabbos, you would not it would not be considered a Get. By Shabbos, it's considered a, a, a Hanacha and a Rishus. By Get, it's not considered a Hanacha Rishus. Why? Because it's not watched. Okay, that's the second. Amid Beis, Adam Rav Huna Meshmuel Lo Yamin Adam Begag. The yield called, okay. Now, uh, we know that, fellas, just a little overview. We know that Midor Raisa, we, we just did Hoitsa, the Chi of the Raisa is the going from Rishus to Rishus Ayachir or vice versa. That's, that's Hoitsa. Could you go from one Yachid to another Yachid? Sure. Mm-hmm. But not really, unless you make an Erech Hatseris. In other words, mid so you can go from a to Shusayach, but you know if you have an extra neighbor, in order to go ahead and pass anything across your porch, you have to have a you have to have make an air chatseris. That's what they're on. We will apply that again. They used to use their roofs a lot. We saw an air event, they they really use their roofs a lot. So let's say you have two people. This is one roof, this is another roof, and the, and the houses are right below my hands, is where the houses are. So just like below, if they would connect one to the other, you'd have to so to from this house to this house. So let's say this guy has water on his roof and you want it. On Shabbos, you're not allowed to schlep it onto the roof. Now, what about get? What happens to a person, you, you, you're on your roof and a person would throw a get and lands on the other person's roof? You'd be divorced. That's a chiddush. Let's see. Because people, they, they, they lend it out. It says that, You shouldn't stand on your gag and scoop water from the gag of your friend. Right? Just like the below the boundaries are divided, so too above. That's only regarding Shabbos. Get Mishum the Kuli Highlight Carpet Inchi, says Rashi, Avil Gitten. Have two Gagan next to each other. And you lent out this place to the woman to Makabal to get. And you makabal on the other roof. So over here we don't say they're two separate roofs. 
A person will give out his chatz, he won't give his house. It wasn't so, in other people are not mocked. So just like we say that a man would lend out one rishus to his wife for the purpose of what? Of getting a get. So too a person would lend out, would lend out his rishus to another person, one rishus. So if you tell your wife, listen, I'm giving you my roof to, to, to receive your get, and you put the get and it goes to the other roof, that person next to a neighbor is also not makbid. It's one rishus, you would be divorced. So by Shabbos going from one to other, that would not be permitted, but by get you will be considered divorced. So we have three chalukim, like klut kemisha uncha, we have the, the, the we have the, that's the first chalik, we have the, the, sec, the second chalik, we have the traskal of the basket, and the third chalik of the, of the two roofs. Very gishmak. Amr Abaya, shtei chatzei roi zulif nemizu. You have two chatzei rois. One is inside the other. And panimi yashala, the panimi is har, v'chitzani yashaloi. So if you guys like this, between my hands is the woman's chatzer, and from my shoulder to the hands is the man's chatzer, okay? So here is the woman's chatzer, and the shoulders to the, to the, to my, the hands to my shoulder is the man's chatzer. Now, the shoulders go up. So her chatzer and his chatzer are protected by these high walls of my shoulders. Good? You haven't seen this. So here is my her chatzer. Going from here to here is his chatzer. And you have, going up, you have walls on both sides. That, that's the metzias of the case. Now, the chitzonia shaloi, umechitzas ha chitzonias, and the mechitzas of the outside chatzer, oit voice al panemius, are higher than the panemius. The zarkula, and he throws her a get, kimen shegi la avar mechitzas ha chitzonia, once it reaches the airspace of the chitz of the outside mechitza, harizu migureshes, right? She is divorced. Now, it means that doesn't mean, fellas, look, it doesn't mean that he throws the get from here and it's over here she's divorced. It doesn't mean that because it never went to her airspace. What it means is the following. It means if it comes over here, if it comes over here, even though it's not in, in her walls yet, since the outer walls are encompassing it, they protect the inner walls. And therefore, these outer walls on my shoulders will make this over here once it lands over here, you know, in the airspace over here, as, as considered, uh, you know, guarded already. There's no wind that's going to take it, it's going to land. So the Kiddush is over here. You don't need it to land over here. Even over here, it will be a good get. Why? Because it's protected by these outside walls. However, that's only by what? By, that's only by get. That's only by get. Mashen came by kupois. And chotzer, mashen came by a box. Shtei kupa zu mitachsu. You have two boxes, one inside the other. Pnimi is shaloi. The inside is har. Vichitzoni is shaloi. Vizorku la. Afil higila. Ave pnimi is ena mugureshes. My timer. Dolay noya. Because it didn't go ahead and, and it, once it lands, it would be divorced. But the airspace not. Because again, there's no protection over the airspace. You know, if it's, if it's all level, guys. If it's all level, his and hers. It's two boxes. Like you have this is is his box and this is her box and it's flying over here. She's not divorced until it gets over here. It gets over here. You're not the Muslim gets over there. Right. My time says my When it lands, what does it help? Caleb shall who her box is inside his box. So again, his box is the Kali of the Moicher. This is the Kali of the We had yesterday the Gemara in Peihe Amid Bays and Baba Basra has it as a Shaila, right? And has it as a Shaila. And over here we see clearly that what that. We want to be, be pushed to the Shaila that if it is Kaina, then you have the Kli of the Lalikeach, in this case, the woman contained within that jurisdiction of the Kli of the Meicha, the husband. And we said, it's, We're speaking about a, a Kupa that doesn't have Shalayim. In other words, his, I don't think his Kupa has Shalayim, right? So his, his, his Kupa doesn't have Shalayim, so it's not considered what in, in his Rishos. I think it, it's speaking where he doesn't have his, his right? The Ein Shalayim points the Panimius Munechas Agabe Karka. The Panimius is on the ground. In other words, fellas, it doesn't mean 
her, her doesn't have, it means his doesn't have. So the panemius is resting on the ground and it's not in his. Now, when is it the kli of the moicher? That's if look, if this is his kli, and let's say my hands is his kli, and this is my kli. So then it would be what considered and considered inside. But let's say his kli does not have a bottom. So if his kli doesn't have a bottom, it's not a kli. So look, if this is a perfect example. The box is hers, it has a bottom. Once it gets in the space, it'll be divorced. But his kli, the two hands, has no bottom underneath it. So therefore, it's not the kli of the loikeach, mitoich the kli of the moicher. So it's not a shayla, very gishma. It says the Mishnah, nothing to do with anything we've been discussing till now. <laughs> okay, zero. Okay, now, there's, we, we, we've discussed a get yashan. A get yashan is, is where a man writes a get, right? He writes a get, and between the kasiva and the nasina has yichud with the woman. He has, between the kasiva, the writing of the get, and the giving of the get, they're together in a room. Then he gives it a get. What's the chashash? The chashash is that if people will see the get, they'll go after the time, not when it was given, they'll go after the time it was written. So let's say it was written in September, given in October, or given in November, and you have a baby that's born nine months later, in, in whatever, you do the math, but it'll be nine months after September, not nine months after November. Or, so in other words, you're worried about what we call a pogum, a child that's born out of wedlock. That's what we're chayish for. A man could go ahead and pata his wife with a get yashon. Basil Oyster Basil says you can't. Basil get Yashan, Koshin is Yachid Ima Meacha Shakastula. Yemiyachid there in the room alone, after what? After the Ksiva. But my Kamifi, what's this first enough like this? Beshame Savi, Loya Min and Gazera Shema Yomer Gita Kaitl Bena. We're not worried that they're going to say that the get came before the child, and therefore what? The child is, you know, that the child's a, a pogum. Basil Savi, I'm a Gazera Shema Yomer Gita Kaitl Bena, that the get was, was before. And the child would, and she had relations after the get, uh-huh. and therefore she had a child in in, in uh, wedlock. We say that it's not good, but if she does get married, let's say, say she does. In other words, if it, it it's 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 a chashash rabbanon. If she would get married, she wouldn't. We won't make her leave the husband. If she get married, we will make her leave the husband because you know it's a viable get. It's not a puzzle get. You should. It's 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 also to use it. But if you use it, but the evidence okay. In this no, it's, he doesn't say that if you do if you get married with it, he goes, if if you get divorced, then Lukhathila you're able to go ahead with get Yashan and the Baal goes to Medina Sayyam, you'll be able to get married with and you wouldn't need another get. 